good morning everyone here from Iceland so right now we're in an area in the southeast of the island near a main town called Hoffen and today we got a lot of driving to do about six hours because we're gonna head up all the east coast and then head north to a spot called Mivatan and we were going to start the video off at a glacier which is just back over there but the road conditions are no good like you can't really drive on this so yeah we've had the stop right here and we're gonna head back we already drove on all this ice here but yeah we don't want to go any further not worth it still looks beautiful just from here anyway so as i mentioned got a lot of driving to do but on the way we are planning on stopping at some like a uh, coastal town that's supposed to be really nice so yeah that's the plan ready driver yes but I don't want to drive in places like this <laughs> yeah the rest of the road should be good it's because this is like off-road the main roads won't be like this that's for sure but yeah that is just pure ice right there We're just making a quick stop here on the way. I guess not many people uh, drive around these roads because we only passed two cars. There is one coming down there though. So quiet here that that car even sounds uh, noisy. Cool spot to have a picnic here. Check this out. So I think this is actually a, a lagoon or something, a lake, like a frozen lake. But this is how the road is the majority of the way on the east coast. It's uh, yeah, really like a coastal road right on the side with yeah just the epic mountains as usual all around been super lucky these past two days with the weather it's been just complete blue skies all the time so yeah even though it's like in the winter it doesn't feel bad at all really pretty warm even has this been easier to drive on now yeah well this part of the road is so so easy because there there are no cars and no ice and no water oh broken glasses yeah <laughs> so yeah it's been easy now i just hope it will stay like that until the end but I'm not sure it changes so often here though you can drive like five minutes and then you're just like in some complete ice world all of a sudden and then you drive another five minutes and it's dry or it could even just start raining out of nowhere that's what's happened a lot of the other days pretty bizarre <laughs> Before we continue with our road trip around Iceland, we are going to talk about the sponsor of this video, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN provider that we have been using on all of our devices while traveling for the last year and a half. Surfshark allows us to have a private connection anywhere in the world, keeping our personal information and data safe from potential hackers. Besides this, Surfshark also gives us access to all Netflix libraries. Different countries have access to different series and films on Netflix, but with Surfshark you can set your devices to any country in the world, giving you access to them all. Surfshark also allows you to avoid travel restrictions when visiting internet restricted countries. Using Surfshark you can access any website or app anywhere in the world. With just one single account you can connect to unlimited devices which means you can use it on all your family devices. Click on the link in the video description which has the discount code jumping places to get 83% off and three months for free and that also includes a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
So I did mention how the scenery changes so much around here and right now we're in like some powdery white snowy wonderland on this road. It's crazy. It's a bit icy though look but hasn't been too bad so far but all around it's like this so yeah this side of the island must have been snowing like crazy like really thick snow. So we decided to stop here since everything's so so beautiful around here. Look at that picnic table. I don't think anyone's gonna be using that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't expect it to change this much. Oh, yeah, it just seems like it's like we're uh, on the clouds or something. <laughs> Everything's so white. Yeah. yeah, we haven't seen anywhere like this so far. I mean, look at the road we were driving on. But yeah, it's not like slippery, just very snowy. Yeah, this is like proper legit snow now. Oh, it's soft. Oh. It doesn't even stick. Ow. It's like so powdery. Ow. What? Ow. <laughs> it doesn't stick at all. There's some dudes with uh, snowmobiles there as well. So that looks like it would be fun. You can see their tracks over there. <laughs> So we have arrived at the little town, finally. Not exactly sure how you pronounce this place as usual, but I think it's a Seydis Fjordo. I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. And straight away we can already tell this is like the cutest little Icelandic town or village that we've seen by far. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. But it's very, very quiet. We don't see anyone and we're not sure if there is any restaurant open. Which we is the reason we came here. Yeah, we wanted <laughs> to eat so we'll, we'll see if we find something. Yeah, we'll walk around and see. Man, look at this cute little chapel. Gotta watch out where you're walking. Carol's already fallen over once, yesterday. Yeah, yeah I hurt my hand because uh, I slipped and I wasn't wearing gloves so uh, the ice, uh, I don't know how kinda to... Kind of like cut your hand a bit? Yeah, cut and also um, burnt. Like burnt, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not so bad. Yeah, it is way colder on this side. No sun hit in here as well because of the big mountains. I only saw the pictures of this place when it was in the summer. So everything was green. I didn't realize there was these huge mountains as well. So yeah, we're getting a totally different uh, image right here <laughs> from what I saw in the pictures. And it's frozen now, but I remember seeing in the pictures you usually get this like rainbow road. It goes all the way down there, you can see it a bit better. But usually it looks really cool because you get like the rainbow road heading to the, the chapel. It's better here, Carol, the rainbow road. Yeah, <laughs> that part is frozen. Frozen, but this is it's nice. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. Got cool uh, art as well on the buildings. That's another reason that I wanted to come here. Funky art. I think there's a lake here, right? Yeah, imagine living in a place like this. You come out of your house. Yeah, and you have... <laughs> Whoop, Carol down almost. And you fall every day. <laughs> you fall every day if you're Carol, yeah. You me. Yeah, but wow, the view is awesome. It's just epic. Yeah, spectacular. I think Carol needs to get back in the car. Why? Because she can't walk. <laughs> Alright, so it turns out that there is a place open here. We asked one of the locals, Skaftel, Skaftfell Bistro. So I got a margarita. Carol got the cheesies. Yeah, 
Yeah, with uh, pesto, I think. Right? Yeah, real corn. Oh, really? Yeah. And pesto. Yeah. Looks good. Nice view as well. <laughs> so those pizzas were absolutely delicious. We both ate the entire thing. Especially because we only had lunch right now and it was like uh, 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. So yeah, that's like the latest lunch that we've it's, had in um, ages. And unfortunately, we don't really have any time to explore this place. I mean, everything's kind of close, but still been nice just to, to walk around the streets. But yeah, we don't have time and we don't want to go up that road in the dark and it's going to get dark in about an hour. Yeah, so we've kind of got to head out ASAP. It's the next day now. So I mentioned that we were leaving there an hour before getting dark to get past that super snowy area. But then it turned out that the entire region is like that. So we literally drove for like two and a half hours, three hours. And yeah, it was just like in the middle of nowhere, no villages, no towns, just everything covered in white. All you could see was white. And yeah, it got a little bit too crazy, but we made it anyway. And once again, we're staying in like a farm guest house here in Mivatan, and this is a hundred dollars per night, and that includes breakfast as well. So it's a pretty nice, spacious room, and we get some pretty good views as well. So this will give you an idea of what I was talking about. That here is pretty much the same. Everything completely frozen around here. So our building's just like this one right here, and then this is the bathroom. Also a pretty good little bathroom here. So one of the cool things about the spot that we're staying in back there is that we're right next to these volcanic craters. All over here, there's loads of volcanic craters. So that's the name of this spot. The crazy name. <laughs> oh, there's loads, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess we can walk all the way around. We're here right now. Probably do the loop, right? Yeah, there are like smaller ones, bigger ones. Yeah, I want to see this one. Yeah. A monster crater. Turns out that we can't go to the main big one because that's in the middle of a lake. So all this is a huge lake, by the way, that's completely frozen right now. And right now there's a winter festival going on where people are doing horse riding on the ice. So yeah, there's someone down there on a horse on the lake. And the guy at the restaurant told us it's like kind of like a competition. Yeah, there's something like a competition going on. And apparently the, the lake is uh, strong enough for the horses to, to be on top and it won't break. <laughs> So this is where the competition's going on. Looks like it's like a horse race or something. Look at that. Meow. <laughs> I think they're racing, right? Like fastest time or something. Yeah, yeah. There's a guy with some kind of sound system saying something. Like a microphone, right? Yeah. Loudspeaker. Uh -huh. All right, here comes the other one. Oh, this one's going real fast. <laughs> He's leaving. He's going home. Yeah. See you later. All right, time to get warm. Yeah. The best way. Man, <laughs> this is freezing. Oh. oh no! I was gonna do an introduction outside, but this is a whole other level. Not possible. Compared to Blue Lagoon. Yeah. Whew. But inside it's warm. I think uh, there's another pool over there and I think it's hotter. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's some people over there. Yeah, so the introduction that I was supposed to do outside of the pool was to say that we've come here to the Mivatan Natural Pools right near where we're staying. It's only like a 15 minute drive overall. And how much was this one? 
5,900 per, per person. person. Yeah. yeah, so a lot cheaper than the Blue Lagoon one in Reykjavik in the capital. Very different as well, it's smaller, not as many people, obviously because we're not in the capital. This yeah. one kind of smells though, like a strong uh, sulfur smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can really smell the sulfur. Even outside of the bus, there's like little sulfur smoky things coming out of the ground you'll see in t in the next video we read many reviews of people say that they prefer this one other than the blue lagoon uh one but i'm not sure we'll see yeah. if we like this one better yeah we'll see <laughs> Just like in the Blue Lagoon, I got a gull once again, that was 900. And did you get white wine last time? Yes, I yeah? did, yeah. And that's 1,200. So on this one, we have like showers. I don't know <laughs> if they're warm, I guess they are. Let's see. Be careful with your glass. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I can put it here. Oh yeah, warm. Warm? <laughs> oh, it's even warmer. <laughs> massage. Head massage. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Are you, are you going to try? Yes. Of course. <laughs> Let's try the other one. Uh, oh yeah. Seems more powerful. Uh-huh. Whoa! <laughs> Oh man, that's nice. <laughs> All right, Carol's turn for the the back massage. It's really strong, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's good though, right? <laughs> it's good because I've been driving so much. And Lots now, of aches and pains. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the best one. The other one's too gentle. Yeah. Right. So it turns out that there's another pool here. <laughs> Minus two degrees. <laughs> Cooler. Cooler than the other one. This pool? Yeah. That's why nobody's here. <laughs> I want to go to the other one. All right, let's just check it out quickly and head back. Yeah, on this side, you get some pretty cool views. There's another pool there as well. I don't see anyone in that one though. I don't think you can go in it. Yeah, I think I'm only gonna last a minute in here. <laughs> Get me back in the warm one. So we got nice and warm and now it's time to get nice and cold once again because we're going out searching for the Aurora Borealis which is one of the big reasons that we came here to Iceland, the Northern Lights. We tried seeing it the other night but uh, yeah we had no luck, it was like uh, too cloudy. But Carol's seen on the sites and apps that it's potentially good today. Yeah, so uh, there are many websites that you can have like the forecast for the Aurora Borealis but um, there are two main, main websites from Iceland but I also downloaded four other apps on my phone because I, I am very excited to see it I really want to see it so according to the website and the apps uh, the most important thing for you to see the northern lights is uh, the cloud coverage so if it's cloudy it's hard to see the northern lights but if it's uh, open skies you get you get uh, good chances but there's also another thing that you need to take into account which is the aurora activity there's a like a number for that and i think it's called kp and the higher the better uh, it can get from zero to nine so if the number is close to nine it's a very good sign today is i think only three and sometimes maybe it can get to four 
but uh, according to other people that should be enough for something so we'll see <laughs> yeah we'll see all right hopefully fingers crossed We're back in the car now. We was probably out there for like, what, what was it like, an over an hour, hour or, twenty minutes? Yes, yes. Yeah. So first, when we arrived here, probably for about thirty minutes, we couldn't see anything. We could see some clouds. We kept thinking that was the aurora, but once you see it, you definitely know that it's the aurora. So yeah, it started to appear to our side. It is very different though than what we were expecting. Like the colors aren't the same with our eyes, right? Oh yeah. I thought that you would see like the bright green color, but if you just see something like a, like a very light green color, and I guess it depends on the the intensity of the aurora activity. Today is not that uh, strong, so maybe in on other days you can see uh, like a green, very strong green color, but still it's like amazing, especially because on the camera you can see like very strong and beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know how our images are. We're not used to filming uh, auroras, right? Or even filming at night, really. So Carol's been taking some pictures. They look good. And on this GoPro, I've been using the night mode. There's like a time-lapse night mode. So hopefully those shots look good. We're still going to stick around here, though. Um, yeah, the aurora is still out there. It's gone a bit weak right now. But we're still going to wait for like an hour. Maybe it'll come back again strong. We'll have to see. back at our room now we ended up spending over an hour the oral activity was was crazy wasn't it yeah it was very cool and even when we left it was still going on but it was so cool that we needed to leave and also we we're very tired uh, but it was it was great uh, for me it's a very nice experience especially because I've been dreaming of seeing the the northern lights for I don't know, so long, it was something that was on my list of things to do before I die. Yeah, it's the main reason that we came to Iceland in the winter, so... Yeah, so it was a very, very nice experience, so I can take that off of my list. <laughs> yeah, and you're not always guaranteed to see it, so we're just happy that we got to see it. And it was just crazy how fast the lights were moving at the end. It was nothing like when we went out the first time, like this time, and even right now in the sky, it's like above us and just moving really fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it could move that fast. So yeah, hopefully the shots are good and we just need to get some sleep now, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you like this video as usual, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this one. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.